Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is uh, Area and Mixed Numbers. This is Lesson 7-7 seven, seven in our book. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Here's our common course strand for our teachers, and our question is how can we use a unit tile to find the area of a rectangle with fractional side lengths? So uh, we'll do that in this lesson. And so uh, uh, here we can use uh, square tiles with side lengths that are unit fractions to find the area of a rectangle. And just remember a unit fraction is a numerator uh, that has a numerator of 1. So for example, these fractions right here, this is 1 over 1, this is 1 over 2, this is 1 over 4. As long as the numerators are 1, they're called uh, unit fractions. Okay, let's do this problem here. So Stephanie wants to cover a small rectangle in her pantry with tile. The rectangle is 2.5 feet by 3.5 feet. She wants to use the same size tile in the entire rectangle and use the fewest tiles possible. The tiles come in three sizes, one by one foot by one foot, one half by one half foot, and then one quarter foot by one quarter foot, or one fourth to by one fourth is one quarter. So choose a tile that Stephanie could use, and what's the area of the rectangle? Okay, so if you look at these denominators right here, they end in a half right here. So, so we could use um, uh, this one or this one. She can't use this one because she wants to have the same size rectangles. We want to have them so they'll accommodate to this one half right here. So we'll use the one half ones right here. If one of these were one fourth, then we'd have to use the one fourth right here with the common denominator. Okay, so explain which tile she'll use. Well, she'll use the one half foot by one half foot to get to the fewest tiles and have them all the same size, okay? All right, so on the grid over here, let's uh, let each square represent the dimensions of the tile that we chose. We chose the one half foot by one half foot, and then draw the diagram of the rectangle. Okay, so since our square tiles are a half a foot long, then two of the one half foots make one foot right here. So so this would be one foot. These two together. These two together be one foot. These two together be one foot. So when we're doing uh, three three and a half, here's one foot. Here's two feet. Here's three feet, and then here's a half a foot, because remember, the square tiles are a half a foot by a half a foot. Okay, one foot, two foot, and then this leftover piece is a half, so two and a half right there. Okay, so how many squares are in this rectangle? Okay, so if we just count across right here, let's go, let's go down. One, two, three, four, five. There's five, and then going across, there's seven. So there's five by seven squares, or 35 squares right there. Five times seven equals 35. And so what's the area of each tile that we're using? Well, since they're a half by a half, then we multiply a half times a half and gives us a fourth. Remember, when we multiply fractions, we get uh, smaller numbers. So a half times a half is a fourth. So each area is a fourth of a square. And since we have 35 of them, since one square in the diagram represents an area of one fourth square foot, the area represented by 35 squares is going to be 35 times 1 fourth, and 35 times 1 fourth is 35 fourths. So remember, this is 35 over 1, so we would multiply the numerators and the denominators to get 35 fourths, okay? Square feet right there, okay? So uh, the area of the rectangle that Stephanie uh, will tile will be 35 fourths, but let's change this back to a mixed number, and we'll do that right here. So 35 fourths is the same as... 32 fourths plus 3 fourths, and 32 fourths is 8. So that's going to give us 8 plus 3 fourths, which is 8 and 3 fourths square feet right there, okay? So 2 and a half times 3 and a half is 8 and 3 fourths right there, okay? And we'll do another one just like that, you guys, at the end of this lesson here. But let me show you a different way right here. Sometimes it's easier to multiply mixed numbers if we break them apart into whole numbers and fractions. So let's try a couple like this method, and then we'll go back to the one we just did. So we'll use an area model to solve 2.5 times 3.5. Okay, we know it's 8 and 3 fourths because we just did this problem. But let's do it this way here. So let's write uh, 2 and a half as uh, rename the numbers as the sum of a whole number. So 2 plus a half right here. So 2 and a half is the same as 2 and a half, and 3 and a half is the same as 3 and a half. Okay, so draw an area model to show the original multiplication problem. Okay, so there's our area model. If we wanted to find the area of this, we'd multiply this times this. Now, we already know the answer is 8 and 3 fourths, but here's a different way to do this, okay? 
All right, so let's draw dashed lines uh, to label each section to show how we broke apart uh, the mixed numbers as 2 plus 1 half and 3 plus a half. So I'm going to draw a dashed line going across here and separate it for 2 plus 1 half and then draw a dashed line down here and separate it up here as 3 plus 1 half. Okay, so there they are right there. And then now what we do is just find the area of each section. Okay, so the area of this wrangle, the rectangle wrangle, is 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. The area of this one is 2 times a half. 2 times a half is, is 2 over 2, which is 1. And then the area of this rectangle is, um, is going to be a half times 3 right here. This half times this 3 right here. So a half times 3 is 3 halves right there. Remember, 3 is the same as 3 over 1. 3 times 1 over 1 times 2. And then this one's going to be uh, uh, 1 half times 1 half. 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth right there. Okay, so now we just add up all the areas to find the total area of the rectangle. So we're going to add up all those areas. So 6 plus 1 plus 3 halves plus uh, 1 fourth. Okay, let's get a common denominator right here. So so the common denominator between 2 and 4 is 4, so if we multiply this by 2 over 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4, so I'm going to replace this as 6 fourths, okay? 7 plus, or 6 plus 1 is 7, okay? Here's the 3 halves, but it's changed to 6 fourths. 6 fourths plus 1 fourth is 7 fourths right there, okay? And then that 7 fourths is 4 fourths plus 3 fourths, so we get 7 plus 1, which is going to be 8, 8 and 3 fourths, and that's what we got in the last one. Let's try that again with this one. So, sorry about this, so uh, 2 and a half times 3 and a half is 8 and 3 for us. Okay, so let's do the same thing with this one. So draw dashed lines to show each mixed number as whole numbers. Okay, so here we go. Dashed lines right there. One and three fifths and two and three fourths. And now we'll find the area of each little rectangle. One times two, one times three fourths, uh, two times three fifths is six fifths, and finally uh, three fifths times three fourths, uh, three times three, five times four is nine twentieths. Then we add up all of these guys right here, okay? So here we go. Now the common denominator, four and five and twenty, is twenty. So we're going to change this to twenty by multiplying it by five over five, multiplying this one by four over four, and that'll give us twenty on those guys, okay? Now we can add them up, okay? So it's going to be two plus all those numerators, which is four. 48 over 20. Okay, and then 48 over 20 is 20 over 20, plus 20 over 20, and then plus 8 over 20, okay? 8 over 20, uh, if you divide that by 4, you get 2. Divide that by 4, you get 5, so you get 2 fifths. If you left it as 8 twentieths, I'm sure your teacher would be happy that you can get to this right here. So 2 plus 2 is 3, I'm sorry, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, so we get 4 and 2 fifths right there, okay? All right, so 1 and 3 fifths times 2 and 3 fourths is 4 and 2 fifths. All right, let's try one more of that other way because this is how your uh, your book starts off with on your lessons I noticed okay all right so in this figure right here they tell us that each square is one fourth foot by one fourth foot so this is a fourth this is a fourth in the first one we had it a half by half and we're gonna find one and one fourth times one and one half okay so so remember one fourth plus one fourth equals one half so two of these squares are gonna make up this guy right here and this whole one is gonna be four of these squares because this is 1 fourth, 2 fourth, 3 fourth, 4 fourth right there. Okay, so what that means, you guys, is 1 and 1 fourth is going to be 5 squares because this is 4 squares plus 1 more. This is 4 squares plus 2 more, so it's going to be 6 squares. So here's my 5 squares and my 6 squares right here. So then we multiply to see how many squares. There's 30 squares, and since each square is a fourth times a fourth or a sixteenth of a square foot, then the total area is going to be 30 times 1 16th. Okay, so 30 times 1 16th is going to be uh, 30 sixteenths. And then 30 sixteenths gives us 1 and 14 sixteenths. And if you want to reduce that, divide by 2, divide by 2, we get 1 and 7 eighths. All right, you guys, I hope that made sense. I know it went fast, but hope you did well. Take care, you guys.